what are the sayings or motto quotes that help you to move on? This above all, to thine own self be true, and to follow the night the day, thou canst not then be false to any man. And always to be true, true to yourself. You tell the truth, even though you think that it might hurt, you try as much as possible to say it in a way that will not hurt. I first met Father Boo in 1961, the summer of 1961. He had just come back, I think, from his PhD studies at Fordham. And uh, that, uh, we, uh, he taught us a, a course in general psychology. And that was a lot of fun, uh, partly because it was much more interesting than the scholastic philosophy that we were, we were studying. And he was a very good teacher, very enthusiastic, very interested in his students. Uh, uh, he wanted everybody to go into psychology, so he would, he would he talked to me and said, uh, Oh, Ben, what are you interested in? And I said, I'm interested in mathematics. I said, Oh, that's the best preparation, he said, for psychology. I think he said that to everybody. <laughs> Whatever interest you had, it was the best preparation for psychology. He was a very good Jesuit, I would say. Like, the other thing we shared was working together in a parish. In, uh, well, it was just a visita at that time. It's a parish now along Old Balaray. So it's, it's, a, it's a church along, along Tandang Sora. We used to take turns saying Mass there. Uh, and he really knew the people. In the community of Old Balara, he would be consistent in attending uh, Masses. He would uh, persevere in his schedule of uh, presiding at Masses in Old Balara. Sometimes there would be typhoons or, or floods in that area too, but it doesn't affect him. He still goes there. So he perseveres through any difficulties and he doesn't get tired. Father Bu, he's an epitome of strength, of faith in the omnipotence of God. So he seems like he's not afraid of anything because of his belief in God. Whenever Father Bu is around, they would, the people of the community in Old Balara would come to him and ask questions, and they feel happy and secure when he's around. He, is, he attends to people who need. He is always the other person. He was very interested in people and very caring about people. And I would say that, aside from being a good psychologist, he was really genuinely interested in people. And I think for Ignatius, that's, that's very central. You have to care for your people. Father de Chardin, you know, had this question of, are you a human being with a spiritual experience or are you a spiritual being having a human experience? And he was a paleontologist, so he was a scientist. And he said, my answer is that we are spiritual beings, but we are here to have this uh, human experience so that we can be all liberated. And psychology, I believe, is a beautiful gift of finding freedom. Not just freedom from pain and suffering, but freedom for the bigger life. Others, especially in the academe, would remember Father Bu as an exemplary scholar, a scientific mind, researcher, and intellectual giant, a scientist par excellence, if you will, for his seminal work on group dynamics, back at a time when no one was talking about group techniques and dynamics. 
For me though, Father Boo is something else. In my mind, he will always be loving kindness. A tenderness, if you will. Always genuine care and malasakit for another person. Always kind. Always compassionate. That is how I remember Father Bu. What he taught me is a very deep lesson for me is that I would go into myself and that is where I will find the answer. It's not what somebody said, but what do I think? What do I say? It's like depend on yourself, you know, trust yourself, look deep within you and you will find answers. I like that. Say hi, Tito Jim. <laughs> I know you're in heaven, but maybe uh, you can come down to earth for a while and see after 100 years, <laughs> 100 years ago you were born and I, I guess you see now the psychology department is thriving. You taught us to be kind to each other and to help each other and to, and to be excellent in our output. So um, well, thank you for that. So now you can go back to heaven. Okay. He, was, he was a very interested, uh, caring older brother to, to, to myself and even to the younger Jesuit. So, uh, and even when he was very sick already, when he was um, in that infirmary, we were asking there, um, he, he, his mind remained very clear until the end. So uh, I remember uh, maybe in his, la his last birthday, <laughs> his last birthday, so I brought a bottle of wine to his sick bed and I, we poured a glass and asked him, let's have a little toast on your birthday. <laughs> and he was so cheerful, he took a picture of that <laughs> with his wine glass and took, he could just take a little sip. But maybe that, that, that captured very much how, how we related to each other. Father Boo, we miss you. Thank you for being an anchor for many years for my family, for the Kapagal family. Uh, when he passed away in 2015, we were so heartbroken. In um, a few months later, my father also passed away. And so now I have an image of you together with my father somewhere in heaven. And you've, you've always told my parents that when we meet each other in heaven, let us meet by the ice cream stand. So I have this image of you in heaven by the ice cream stand also waiting for all of us so that we would all be together again. Oh, what would I tell you? Father, uh, with love and gratitude, I thank you for taking care of us, for teaching us, for being open to us, for being real being genuine, the genuine person that you are. At patuloy naman kaming nabubuhay at patuloy kaming nagmamahal dahil tinuruan mo rin kami nun. Ay, nako. Well, um, Father, we miss you so much. You know that we love you. The line that comes to me is I want to tell Father that his kids are all right. So Father, your kids are all right. We're okay. We're okay and we're gonna be okay. So don't worry. So Father, thank you for still being here, always here. Um, and and you're, you're always with us. I wish he's here. <laughs> uh, I, I would have to tell him that um, there are so many lives that he have touched. When we learn something in class, he'd always say, do not be afraid. 
go out, practice it, try it, no? So, so I think that would be what he would want to know if people have practiced what they've learned in the classroom. I think that's what I would have to say that I have learned from him and that I have propagated what he knew and, and been uh, continuing the practice and, and, not, and, and be more comfortable with the gifts that I have discovered in, in my life with him. Father Boo, thank you very much for all the love that you have given us. Thank you for the love that you have taught us how to relate to people whom we do not know, especially with those we work with in Old Balara. Father Boo was just really love. He loved everything. He loved life. He loved the Ateneo. He loved psychology. He loved the kids. He loved giving. He loved learning. Yung parang nakasento talaga sa pagmamahal. So even when his early writings about Filipino culture, kita mo mahal na mahal niya ang Pilipino. He loved the person that he is because he's a Filipino. He loved hypnotizing chickens. He loved teaching his craft to 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 therapists. It was just all a giving. There's this song that he he used to sing to us. It used to go something like this. What is the song that a mother bird sings? Sweet little birdies under her wings. This is the song that a mother bird sings. It is love. It is love. It is love. I know the song that the mother bird sings. Softly when birdies are under her wings. I know the song that my own mother sings. It is love, it is love, it is love. Wagli muti na kara.
Sai